Hi guys, it's Devjit here. So in this video, I will be discussing about one important question on streams. If you do this question, I think it will cover almost all the intermediate operations in streams. And it is very much important as asked asked to me recently in the interview, okay, in one of my interview. So let me share that question with you and let me share the solution with you. And I will do it with you so that you will learn a lot from that. I hope you can see my screen now. So this was the question that was asked to me. First is, I have created one class subject. Okay, the so subject is having subject name, subject marks. Okay, so which is of integer type. Subject name is of string type. Okay, then there is class student. Class student is having string name, which contains student name, and it contains list of subject. Okay, so one student can have multiple subjects, right? So let's suppose one student name is Dave and that Dave is having is having six to seven subjects. So that is also a possibility. So there is a list of subject which is mapped with one particular student. So there can be multiple students. So I hope you can connect with right. You can create a mapping of it. So now what I, the question is, the question is like we have to find the maximum marks in math subject. I want to know that student who has got the maximum marks in math subject. So how to calculate that, how to get that data. So we have to implement it using streams. Okay. In Java, 8. how will you implement this? So first of all, the first step, I want you to just do it by yourself first before jumping onto the solution. Okay. I want you to pause this video for a second or try to do it by your own and then try to jump onto the solution so that you will get a clarity like where we're lacking. So as per the question, I'm, I have to create one subject class with subject name and marks. And then I have to create one student class. And we have to use this subject class within this list. And then we have to create a main class where we have to write the logic for finding the student with maximum marks in math subject. Okay, so how to do that? Let's see that. So here you can see, I have created one student class. So student class contains student name subjects. It's a list of subjects. So here if I go, so this is a subject class. So in this, you can see I've created subject ID, subject name, subject marks. Okay, I've created constructor for that and getter and setters I've created. Okay, so you, you can make use of Lombok as well. So I have uh, not imported that. So I've created getter and setter as it is. So I've created one student class containing list of subject and name and I've created subject class. Okay, so now I have to make use of these two class in the main class to fetch the student with the maximum uh, marks in maths. Okay. So here I've created constructor. So here you can see I've created student ST1, which it's a new student. Okay. And this student uh, in, and what the student contains, student contains name and subjects list. Okay. So here you can see I have uh, created one student name and I've created subject list. Like one student can have multiple subjects, right? So I'm taking a subject ID, subject one, maths, 95 marks. Okay. Then I've taken new another subject. So for simplicity sake, I have taken only two subjects per student. So for one student, one subject is maths, another subject is science. For another student, as to Akash, uh, Akash uh, uh, student name, having 90 marks in science and 88 marks in arts. Okay. So student ST3, Raj, again maths with 84 marks and arts with 80. Then Sangeeta, maths 71 and English 78. Okay, then Ankit, Arts 98, and English 91. So from this data, can you tell me uh, which student got maximum marks in maths? So if we can observe closely, three students has taken maths. This Dev, Raj, and Sangeeta. Only three people have taken maths. The rest, all people have taken other subjects like science, arts, English. Okay, so I have to calculate the maximum of these students by maths marks. Okay, so this Dev has taken has got 95 maths. So here Rahul, uh, sorry, Raj has got 84 and Sangeeta has got 71. So out of this maximum is 95. So my answer will be Dev. So Dev is the student who has got maximum marks in maths. So that is our requirement, which we have to implement it using streams. So I have added it. I've created one list of student student list and I've added all these student data in the student list. So now we have to implement it. So how to implement it? Now let's find out the maximum marks, 
with math subject and that particular student i want to know the name of the student who is having maximum maths marks okay so how to calculate that that let's jump on to that and see so we will be taking student list okay we'll be taking student list dot stream now what we have to do here i have to filter out all those student record who is having maths as their subject then only we can calculate the maximum marks for that student right so first we have to filter out all those student all those student who is having maths as one of their subject at least okay not any other it can have n number of subject but maths should be there as one of their subject at least okay so for that what we have to do we have to filter out because i don't want other student record who is not having maths at all okay so i will be using filter so here i will make use of student i will select and then for that student i will do student dot get subjects dot stream dot any match so if anywhere it is matching we have to filter it out all math students okay so i will be selecting here subject subject dot get subject name as i want to select maths as the subject okay so after that what we have to do over here so here we have to do not subject name like this we don't have to write we will do subject name dot equals equals maths okay after that what we have to do now i got till here those student who is having maths at least as one of their subjects okay now after that i have to fetch the maximum marks of that student and the student name okay so to calculate the maximum marks there is a method in streams that is max method so we will be making use of that so let's use max method then it accepts comparator type data so let's use comparator comparator dot comparing then what we have to do still student data is going on here so i want to fetch only maths data marks okay so for that i need to filter out maths first okay so how to filter out maths subject so here student is going on so i will take student student dot subjects comparing int we have to use because marks is integer type okay so we have to make use of comparing int so we will take student dot subjects dot stream dot now what we have to do i have to filter it out okay i want only math subject not any other subject so i want to filter math subject so i will take subject subject dot get subject name dot equals math subject so i now i i have got math subject now my next step is because at least math subject if i consider there there can be n number of other subjects like social science arts english geography other things will be there but i want to calculate maximum marks for that math subject only here then after that what will be my next step after that we have to get the data as well right after doing this calculation and comparing now the next step is we have to fetch that so how to do that we will be find, doing the find first operation why find first operation because the first after comparing everything the first value you will get is the maximum value of that marks okay so maximum maths marks i want so as soon as i get the maximum marks for that math subject i will come out okay i don't have to see other second second largest third largest i don't want to know that i just want the first maximum marks of that math subject okay so which student has got that i want so find first then after that what will what will i do i will do dot get okay then after that i want to know the subject marks subject marks okay so everything i got here till subjects marks i know but which student is having maximum maths marks till now i got that particular student record is there with me but i want student name i don't want all other details of the student so what will i do over here so let's do some little modification ah then there is a class called optional class okay so here you can see this will return me optional type data okay 
So here there is a method called if present and there is one more method if present or else. So anyone you can use. So it's better to use if present or else because in that there are two arguments. First is consumer type functional interface. Second argument is runnable type. Okay. So consumer actually it accepts this data and with the help of that, it will fetch that student and will give you that student name who has got the maximum maths marks if that student is present. What will happen if that student is not present? That scenario also you have to handle, right? So if that student is not present, it will show maximum maths marks student is not present. Okay. So both scenario will be handled in one single line using optional class. So first of all, we have to store this. To operate on that optional class method, we have to first store it into optional class reference. Okay. So we will be making use of optional class, optional java.util package. It's of student type. Okay. It's of student type. Then it's, I want to fetch the top math subject. Marks. Okay. The top student, top math student, top math student. Okay. I, I got here top math student. Then after that, what we have to do, it's now optional class reference. So now I will take this reference. Then we have to make use of one method. If present, you can see there are two methods, if present and if present or else. Anyone you can take, but it's better to use if present or else. So here you can see that it is accepting two parameters, consumer type and runnable type. So I will take this one. So first is if present, then first parameter. If it is not present, then it will go to second parameter. Okay. So first parameter, consumer. What is consumer? It's a functional interface which will accept data, but it will not, not return me anything. We have to print it then and there itself. So I want to accept the data. What I will accept here? This top student data. Okay. So I will get the student data and then I will get the name of the student. Sorry. I will get the name of the student. Okay. So here I got the student name, but let's suppose that student is not present. So I want to print and it's runnable type. So it doesn't accept anything and doesn't return anything. So it's like an empty action. So for that, we can make use of Lambda function. Okay. And then we will just simply print it. Student. Student with maximum math marks not present. Okay. So like that, we can print over here and here we have to print the student name, right? If we are not printing, so I will print it now. So now with this, it's done. Okay. So now after doing this, what will be my output? Here you can see Dave is having 75 marks in maths. Raj is having 84 marks in maths. And Sangeeta is having 71 marks in maths. So if I compare these three, so you can see like there is no other right side. I haven't written any other subjects with maths marks. Okay. Only in this part. So that for convenience purpose, it will be helpful. So here three students are there with maths and three marks, 75, 84, 71. So this is the highest. So Raj has got the highest marks in maths. So let's run this code and see what's the output. So if I run this code, you will get, get to see Raj is out. Okay. So Raj has got the maximum marks in maths. So let's suppose I, I now change it to 95. Okay. For Sangeeta, I am changing maths marks as 95. So what will happen? I will get Sangeeta as an answer. So I'm getting Sangeeta as an answer. It's working perfectly fine. So this is the way that we can implement. Okay. So there are a lot of intermediate operations are there. Filter method is there. Then we are closing it. Okay. With max method. Okay. So max method here, you can see it's going till here. Okay. Till last. Okay. So this is the way that we can implement. Okay. So it, it requires a little bit practice. So it's very easy to understand here. You can see what's happening. Student list dot stream. I'm streaming on the given array list of student. Then I'm filtering only maths subject because I want only math subject student, right? So after this, what will happen till here? It will filter out all those students who is having at maths as one of their subject at least. Okay. So it will filter out all those students, those who are not having maths. Okay. It will filter out that. And we will get only those students who are having maths as one of their subject. Okay. So till after this line, these three uh, students will get filtered out. Okay. We will get these three students. Then after that, what will be what we'll be doing? I have want to calculate a maximum of those students' maths marks. 
So I want to get the maths marks only, not other subjects marks. So for that, what we have to do, we have to filter it based upon their maths. So I, what I did, I did comparing in, I'm getting the subjects and I'm filtering based upon the maths. So that till here, I will get only maths marks for all these three students. Okay. So now after getting all these three students maths marks, then after that, I will calculate what is my maximum marks. So here it will calculate maximum marks as 84, sorry, 95. Okay. 95 is for Sangeeta. And then all this Sangeeta details, one, this whole record will be stored in this top math student reference. Okay. This optional class reference. And then we will be using this reference to fetch the name of that student who has got the highest marks in maths. And if data is not present, we'll be printing student with maximum maths marks is not present. It's as simple as that. Just you practice it three, four times, you will get an idea like how it is working. You, you do some modification over here. You can add multiple subjects, like four or five subjects you add and try to fetch science. That, uh, fi try to find out like who all have got the maximum marks in science. Okay, so like that you can practice. Then you will be like a, you will be having good hands-on experience in that. So I hope you got a clarity on this. Like it's a very important streams question. This asked in an interview, so you have to practice it. Okay, so I hope you got the clarity on this. You got the idea like how to implement this. So we will see you in the next video with next set of concepts. Till then, it's Dave Try signing off. And yes, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe so that we'll get a motiv motivation to create these type of videos again and again. If you face any doubt, you just Put it down in the comment box below and I will answer all your comments. Okay. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.